Filipino food is one of the best cuisine that we have here in New York City. There's a lot of big Filipino population that wants to express themselves and their culture and, and the best way is in the food. We wanted to put Filipino food on the map and we wanted to bridge the gap between cultures. Our biggest contribution to the Filipino food movement is creating a home for Filipinos here in New York City. When I took the challenge to cooking a Filipino menu, I took it seriously. So I searched and then I made my own interpretation of it. We opened the restaurant about a year and a half ago and we're serving French food. Our menu reflects what I've done before, working in different type of restaurants, casual, gastronomical. We have some traditional and classic dishes like the coco vin, maybe our French adobo. Very keen on the healthy food, salad. It's a mix of modern, that's why we call it modern brasserie because it's a mix of traditional French food and revisited modern contemporary French food as well. consulted with my wife and tried to get tips from her mom who's always cooking apparently. I also did a lot of research. My challenge was to redesign the, the plating of, of these dishes to make them more fitting in our environment. My goal was to offer a menu that a non-Filipino guest would be enticed to order. Even though we tried to be as authentic Filipino, because I'm French, because in a French restaurant, no matter what, there's a sort of a French influence. So I don't want to call it fusion because we try to have the flavors really true to Filipino cuisine. So for instance, the Sinang Lai, uh, the tilapia, usually I believe it's served whole and you know, head and tail on the plate or, and I said, okay, this is not going to work out here. So we will maybe more modern. I didn't have much fun with the adobo because for me it was basically a coco vin using yeah. soy sauce and vinegar instead of red wine as we do in France. So. Uh, it was actually uh, quite easy to do. The turon, funny enough, I, I had a hard time finding the right rice paper or egg roll. I ended up making our own. We make very thin crepes. We wrap the plantain with mango because then we didn't have jackfruit. So we altered a little bit the recipe, but the people were surprised and uh, you know, it's still nice, crispy with a, with a twist. During the Filipino restaurant week, Nilagay nga namin yung adobo. I'm very pleased to say na it's really welcomed. They're very happy with adobo because they can relate to the kukuvan, the French uh, dish. I'm quite surprised that they're very welcoming and they're very accommodating and adventurous to try our dishes for the Filipino Restaurant Week. It's delicious. The shrimp is tender and crunchy, and the sauce is great. It has a nice little heat to it. Just really nice. The tomatoes are perfect. They've been grilled, and they can have a nice flavor to them. Uh, the dressing is delicious. <laughs> Excellent heat prepared. I am touched by the support of our loyal for East Siders who come through the word of mouth. It's very expensive to do advertising in the U.S., especially New York. So I do rely on the goodness of people. We provide them the best service, warm and kind. It's a great challenge and we're very uh, proud to be participating and to be somehow carry on the movement to get this cuisine better known by the, the main audience and I think it's a great idea to have a non-Filipino restaurant participating. <laughs>